Welcome back to Railroads Online. We're here at the oil fields. Uh, between episodes, I just ran between the uh, ironworks in here. We're going to um, take our train back there, back to the sawmill, and we're leaving here with eight steel pipes, zero beams, and 12 tools. So uh, that's more for me than for you, I guess. Um, yeah, we're going to take this guy and take it back to the sawmill and then we're going to finish off the game. Turn the uh, light on. Give it some uh, firewood. Warm her up. And let's head off. Uh, as I was running along the track um, I did the switches that I could, so um, some of them are already done. The ones closer to the main line, further away, still need to be switched. This is just a repositioning episode, so uh, we'll split off the next episode uh, where we finish the whole game by doing a run between the sawmill and the refinery. We'll take down some lumber to finish that off and we'll uh, bring back the oil barrels and sell them at the trade depot. Slowly coming out of these yards. Quick overview of the map. We're down at the bottom left there, oil field. We're just going to head up the freight mine, the freight mill, uh, via the um, freight depot. Points are up here around the corner. I'm going to leave a little bit of rig and then run forward. Ooh, yeah, I run forward. Very fast. We only have one point to switch, so not too dangerous. We're going to come in from the left, and then rather than switching over, we're just going to continue on the main line and then on the final episode we'll come flying down here and go all the way to the refinery okay Let's hop aboard and uh, let's get to the sawmill angle of that corner back there is not too bad so I'm not too worried about speed through here it's no different to a normal corner that we do at high speed. Laying down the train. I'm sure I'm upset. Yeah, let's thunder down this track. So currently at the refinery we have 50 pipes um, out of the maximum of 100. We have 41 crude at a maximum of 1,000 and we have no lumber at a maximum of 24. So if we deliver 41 plus 24, 65, um, we will get 65 produced and have 9 pipes left over and no lumbers. So um, that will give us a nice stockpile in the, in the barrels area. The barrels, I believe, uh, for every one set of materials coming in, we'll make, because uh, there's two, two barrel output piles, we'll make two barrels. So those um, 65 will turn into two groups of 65, so it'll turn into 130. So a pretty good stockpile. Um, we'll just bring back 
um, one cordwood amount. Um, the car, the, the train I used to shuttle um, crude oil, also the barrels, um, only has one cordwood car on it, so it's 42. Uh, and in the future, you know, after this series is finished, I may invest in bigger trains for that phase of the business. Last corner before the freight depot. We'll just pour straight through here. I've been noticing um, in my save game that the train that's parked at the sawmill for logging reasons, which is Betsy, um, the way that the track is laid or the angle means that the, the, car, the, the train must pull itself apart, it's safe, and all the links are stretched. And we end up with uh, certain uh, cars decoupling and then rolling down the track. And so it must have a slight uphill into the sawmill because it rolls backwards. So we'll have to watch out for that because we're going to cross that track and we don't want one of those road um, trucks to get out our train. Um, I've got to get into the habit of setting the brake on that um, when the train is more, more solid. Warn the locals. Flying, flying through. Looking at map, you see what I mean. It's those black dots on the line. That's all separate carriages on the left-hand side there. So uh, yeah, we have got to watch out for that. But they're all rolling around right now. My original line I made between Freight Depot and Sawmill and eventually the logging camp. I don't think I'm ever going to remove it, it's nice and nostalgic to see the wiggles in it compared to the straight track next to it. This point here, which comes back from the sawmill and puts it back on the main line, is correct. We'll use that to get the refinery. Main line peels off here to the right. Uh, this is a way of getting into the sawmill in a different direction. It doesn't actually go to the logging camp. I don't have a way to go from the freight depot to the logging camp directly. You have to go always in. You always have to go into the sawmill and out again. This gets in on the left, and this cross one to get out, and it merges behind us. Take it slowly through here because I don't know the situation of those trucks. Peel off the main line. Coast here for a while. Yeah, it's so a half the train. There should be a train here. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just do a quick look around, see if anything's moving. Uh, I notice that as, as I get close to it, that's when it starts happening. Um, to the extent that, because I don't trust... Uh, oh, good, there's nothing around here right now. Alright, we'll, we'll just get through here. Um, because the beam supply... Uh, we've got plenty of uh, logs in the pond. Um, I'm just going to go through here a bit faster than normal just to make sure I clear this point, or this cross, without getting hit. Yeah, because um, the beams is empty, normally I would load this up ready to be a coal mine train again, which would be 10 loads of beams, but because we're short and the lumber's high, um, I, we'll go do a lumber run to the freight depot and clear that up, but because I want to finish this episode off quickly, I'm just going to go actually through here, and um, we'll just park it as an empty train. Um, so let's slow down to these points. And we'll go park her in the yard. Um, and 
and then we'll park her on the left track, which is fine. And then we'll be pulling that train out, which is our final train. And we'll be ready to go. Yeah, so after this series is complete, I'll back this into here. Might do it as a bonus episode, and then we'll just do a big, massive lumber run to finish that, to even those piles off. The iron mines balance it. You know, the, the lumber and the beam ratio is the same, but the coal mine takes beams, um, so that's a mismatch because it has no pair. And then the oil field and the iron work, so the oil field and the refinery take beams and lumber. So the, we get the oil field and the refinery make a balance, and the iron mine makes a balance, but the coal mine makes a miss, uh, an un imbalance. And so there's a need every once in a while to clear the lumber supply and just sell it at the freight depot. Same deal with the tools. Um, out of the iron works you have uh, iron pipes or pipes and tools coming out. The pipes need to go to the oil field and the refinery, but the tools only need to go to the oil field. So for every two of the pipes you well for every two of the pipes you only need one of the tools. And so that needs to get sold. And same thing goes with the lumber. You, there's an ex excess of lumber in the system. No, not, not a complete balance. I'm just going to pull this up really far ahead, make sure everything's cleared at the back. Alright. Did I leave the light on or off? Right. And we'll get this last train ready to go. Put some fire in her, fix the switches, and okay. While that's ready, squeeze between these trains. Yeah, so we have five lumbers on this train, so it's thirty. Uh, these can take uh, 42, and uh, this will take some of the spare tools, which is currently empty. Uh, I really should have twice. I should have two coilwood things on that, actually, in hindsight. Too early to do that, we haven't gone through it yet. Okay, so we'll head on back, and then to the right here is the way to the main line. Okay, that's somewhere at 13 minutes. What we're going to do is run down the freight yard and get this guy a friend, get him another cord wood, because this 30 is going to turn into 60 barrels. And so Alright. Pressure's still building, but we should be able to do some shunting. The boost is a great way of seeing uh, how big a train is. It's a nice visual representation. bit more going for the train while we're not going too fast. We go. Once again, we have to watch out for that cross point. Actually, we don't have to worry about it because we're coming at it from the other angle. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go out there and work out where my trucks are. It's not the first time they've detached, it's happened to me two or three times now. Some, there's something about the gradient on that line, the way that they get stored. Uh, I think it goes downhill and uphill to the logging camp, so I think they're seesawing back and forth and um, end up staying back the center out there in the wild. But yeah, there should be 12,000 there's four missing. Four Head on south. Yeah, so what we're going to do is, um, because we do need to record the car, I'm going to show you how I use, uh, how the yard uh, can get me a, uh, get me a new car without so much issue. Yeah, the trick is I have a hand car parked that I use to push things around. Uh, I don't know if the hand cars are meant to be pushing around trucks, but uh, it works, so. Yeah, this train's designed to be um, to finish at the um, at the refinery. Um, it's designed so that you push in the back, um, come forward, park it, split it at the box car, and then push it again. Very similar to how the pipes are done. Um, the only slight difference is there's two unloads in the situation where with the pipe car, pipes we only have one unload when you have first three. So three, three times uh, nine is 27, is 30, roughly the same capacity. Yeah, but the thing that's mis uh, in slightly incorrect right now is the global car, which only ta it takes 42. I believe the um, box car takes 32. Uh, so yeah. So what we're gonna do here, we're going to do this. So we need... How are we going to do this? I think I need to back into it. I know. Uh, so yeah, I know what I need to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So that's fine. Alright, so what we're going to do is, because we want to insert it here in the middle. And so, what I'm going to do is put a, a brake on on this guy. Um, we'll take the link off this one. This is going to stay here. We're going to pull forward to the left. And before I forget, I'm going to set these switches. So that when the, it comes out, it comes out through there. And actually, just to explain, actually, I'll move the train down and you'll see what happens. All right, let's move the train forward. If I can find a way of interacting with it. All right. Yes, yeah, so we want to insert a Corbett car in the middle. the points. Okay, now do. And then 
run back, change those points so that we can insert a car in the middle. Double checking our understanding that it's got no pin or anything, no link. And its number is 321, so this is going to be three, oh, sorry, 320, so we need 321 is our new one. Um, so it's going to come out of this left hand track. So it goes far left hand track, uh, as in when you buy things, far left hand track, then, then the first one, far middle, close middle, far right, close. And what I have is I have a hand car here, which kind of reserves that spot. So if I buy a Cobra car, and this is going to be 321. Wait for you to come back. Looks like they fixed that. Um, this uh, little hand truck there can be used to move it. Um, I think its direction's kind of wrong right now, but we'll worry about that later. All right, let's uh, push this guy into place. Now this whole area is very, very flat. And so you actually don't need that much speed um, to get it to roll. And that's how I make cars. What I do is I, I buy one, I push it forward with the hand cart and roll it up to an engine. So I park an engine way up the line, much like that is. And push it forward, roll back, push it forward, roll back. The only uh, trick in the whole sequence is you need to remember to put the links in and turn the brake off. And you can build a like a 12 car um, train maybe in about um, 10 minutes, maybe. We can ride this. And hopefully I gave it enough oomph. Yeah, if you have any brake on it at all, this is not going to work. But um, as long as you have it set to zero, and give it a pretty good shove. You don't want it to be too much, though, because um, otherwise it's going to hit it really hard and bounce off. Um, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it from this end. And capture. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this brake on here. That's the brakes at the wrong end. Yeah, I, I, I like my trains to be in order, and I also particularly like um, the wheel to be at the front. So at some point, that needs to go on a either a... Um, a turntable or aka a, a re-railing um, operation. So there's no pin there. There is a pin here. We never turn the brake on here. That's fine. We're relying on the engine. Jump up here. Reverse it. Brake. And there you go. We've inserted a carriage into the middle. Well, that was a bit hard. All right. Zero. There are okay. Let's uh all right. We'll call that an episode. Train is ready to go down the refinery and finish the game off. See you next time.